hello welcome to another tutorial and if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos i encourage you to subscribe so that you can see all the different videos that i'm going to be uploading uh, today we're going to talk about how to compose a song from zero how can we do that uh, there are different ways we can do a song very simple has the following parts part number one the lyrics Part number two, uh, the music, okay? And the music can be as uh, the melody and the chords, okay? First and most important, these are the two that will always need to come from your brain in order for the song to be fully yours. Otherwise, you can get and collaborate with a, another songwriter and then you can share these parts but if you're planning to get um, to have your your song made just by you you need to have the lyrics and the melody okay so those are the two basic parts of a song obviously on the music we can put the arrangement like the other instruments if we are planning not to just get an acoustic but a whole uh, song with guitars, keyboard, and bass, etc., etc. So, uh, let's start with the with the lyrics. Uh, the lyrics is basically words put in a certain order that talks about something most of the time. Um, there's no right or wrong on this. This is just creativity. So, to start writing a lyric, uh, basically, basically, you just need to have inspiration just start on it um, so choose what you're talking about what you're planning to talk about and then from there you can have better idea of what you want to write and now the structure uh, of a song usually is this way and I say usually because there's no right or wrong either but it's most of the time this way so verse 1 verse 2 in a song may have two verses three verses most of the time and then we have a pre-chorus and then we have a chorus and sometimes we come back to a third verse so that's the most common um i would say song structure you may add something like a break or something something that goes off from the song that has almost nothing to do with the uh, with the song itself but i'll say it's most of the time it's just these ones out here okay three verses chorus and pre-chorus and for that you, you need a sequence you need chords and the chords usually is uh, between three up to i'll say seven chords that you can use in a song for instance a sequence a sequence is an order the order of the chords okay to do a song this is what you mostly are going to need okay this table make sure you uh, basically hit pause and then copy this down unless you already have it uh, over here i'm putting the scales and i'm including every chord depending on the scale you're planning to use for instance c major these are the chords that are played by c major if you're planning to do your song in a minor i use these following uh, chords if i want to do it in g major i may use a g i may use a, a minor or a b minor c or d or e minor or f sharp okay you can create a song and include a chord that is not part of the scale but most of the time is um, this is the regular like uh, the structure the basic stuff to begin with if you don't have um, I'll say if you're beginning on this okay and <clears throat> so then one of the most I'll say one of the most used uh, sequences is a uh, first first um six four five almost always the first the four and the fifth are always in a song okay they are like the main um dish always in the song okay so for instance let's say i want to use a this sequence and uh, i want to 
play the song in a C major scale. So I take first, six, first, six, four, and five. First, I take C, and then the six is the A, M, and then F, and G. So this way. Let's say I want to create a song on uh, E E major. So I take first, six, four, and five. So A major. And it will end up like this. Okay? So once we know that, um, it's just a matter of uh, starting with our song. Uh, what can we do? Uh, the the chords first, the music of the song, or can we do the lyrics? Well, it will depend on, on you. Uh, there's no right or wrong on that. So you can choose to do the lyrics first. You can choose to do the, the chords first. Um, so either way is correct. You can do either both at the same time. So it's up to you, depends on your creativity and whatever is easier for you. So let's say uh, I'm going to uh, tell you the five ways I can start constructing a song. There may be another ways, but these are the five most common. I start with the lyrics. So if I start with the lyrics and I don't know anything about key, uh, any instrument, so I don't know how to play instruments. So I, if I start with the lyric, let's say um, I do a, like, a long, very nice, beautiful lyric, let me say... I just start creating something like, uh, I miss you. That's just an example, okay? I miss you every day. Uh, I wish I know how to say that I love you day and night. And for instance, this can be my verse one, and then I continue on it, ta 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 ta, and write a whole lyrics. Let me put an example with this. So let's suppose I start with uh, way number one. Uh, I'm going to use row number one, so lyrics and chords. So I have my lyrics, which are these ones. Then I'm going to choose a scale. Let me say I'll choose uh, C scale and I'll choose the sequence one, six, four, five. Okay, so I start playing the chords. I play a couple times until I figure out how to put those in this over here. Now, there are other things when you're doing a lyric, you can take a look at the ending, make them match, you can do shorter. Um, lyrics longer you can talk about all other things so to do that all you have to do is listen to the to your favorite songs and from there grab ideas on what to put on your own songs okay so for instance let me say I'll uh, start with the chords to put to this I miss you every day I wish I know how to say that I love you day and night okay let's say uh, that's my beautiful beginning of the song so what I did is I miss you I put a C on top so I remember how I structured this song and I record every single thing that I do so I don't forget I miss you every day I wish I know how to say I wish I I A minor and how to say that I love you that I love I I there I put an F love you day and night day and night G So that's my way number one so i had a lyrics and then i put chords into that now there's something else i actually did over here i put a melody so what i was singing i miss you every day that's melody okay 
Whatever I sing, that's my melody. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Melody. I miss you every day. That's basically what I'm doing with the voice. I miss you every day. So I'm singing every, uh, anything that I'm singing, you can transpose that into single notes in the keyboard, okay, as well. And then way number two, I don't know how to, um, I don't have a lyric, I don't have chords, I don't know how to play an instrument. Well, I just start tan, 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 tan. Basically, I start um, making sounds with my mouth and from there or any like, anything that give you sound so that helps with creativity and then you record. For instance, and I record that and then whenever I come back to that then eventually I try to put a lyrics into that and then I can have a song in there now if you have any I would say difficulty playing an instrument or getting the chords into a song as long as you have your lyric and your you can basically go uh, with somebody who already know how to play an instrument and get their help to to do your song and it's, it will still be your song as long as you have your lyrics and your melody um in and if you don't know how to do melody like tan 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 those kind of things all you have to do is if you have a lyric uh, i guess um you can collaborate with somebody else somebody can put the melody and you do basically 50 50 you do the lyrics and somebody else do the melody okay so that's another another way way number three let's say i have lyrics um i have the lyrics but i don't know how to play chords or anything like that so i start singing and record i just try to create something randomly uh, with my voice i miss you every day I wish I know how to say something like that and you record and whatever you're doing with the voice is basically the same thing I'm doing in a keyboard except that obviously you are you are not getting the help from the keyboard you're just getting it from your um, your uh, voice okay you have a lyric you come to the keyboard and try to figure out the melody of the song you're trying to do for instance I have this lyric and I try I miss you every day I miss you and then I start playing around I don't like that okay let me try here I miss you I miss you every day I miss you I don't like that let's say I start over and then I continue 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 until I I miss you every day until you figure out something you like on the melody okay and way number four Four, uh, I'm sorry, five is uh, I start playing with the chords, any random chords, and then oh, I find something that I like. So I find a sequence of chords that I like, and then from there, like le let's say I'm inspired and I do the nice over there, and suddenly I can start thinking, okay, I have this chord, so let me put lyrics into these chords, and then you can have right there or um, a song or you can start vice versa you can start playing with individual notes in the keyboard and from there create a melody and then later on you put lyrics into that melody so those are basically six six to five ways to do this i hope uh, this video helped you and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye